In the previous video, we looked at creating a brand new Billship account and workspace. And as it stands, our workspace is empty, lonely, and sad. So let's change that. The fastest way to get building in Billship is by remixing a template. To begin, you can go to the templates library. Templates are pre-built workflows that you can usually ship right away. In Billship, you'll find a number of templates for different use cases. As you can see, there's templates for creating an AI chatbot, building a RAG workflow with Superbase, for scraping websites, and if you scroll down, you'll find a lot more. All you need to do is find a template that aligns with your requirements and remix it. What do we mean when we say remix? Well, we mean to select a template and this will clone that template in your workflow. As you can see, this spins up a fully completed workflow for you. The remix part comes into play when you want to further customize the template. As you saw, we just cloned the Scrape Website template. This creates a new Scrape Website workflow in our workspace. And we said that this is the fastest way of building in Billship because usually you could just ship and deploy your workflow right away but before that, you can test if your workflow works. That's a good idea for us to do. We just created a brand new Billship account and workspace. So let's test this workflow and make sure that we're not having any issues. You can click test at the top and we can select one of these saved examples and then we can test the flow. Here we scraped the Hacker News website and we got back a successful response. And this means that our workflow is running without any issues. Here we just glanced over testing in Billship, but in a future video, we'll go over how you can test your entire workflow or test the individual nodes in your workflow. The scrape website template is a basic one, but Billship workflows usually get more complicated than this. So before we can build, fully customizable Billship workflows that align precisely with our business logic, we need to first understand the anatomy of a Billship workflow. And that's precisely what we'll be talking about in the next video.